check that out. That is an amazing photo. Sitting open in Photoshop here. I've been doing a little editing on this. Actually, I did some last night. If we zoom in, it's incredibly high resolution. The original photo had like a bunch of dirt and stuff thrown off the tires here. I cleaned that. There was a dent in the rocker panel that I took out. I wish that car repairs were this easy. I would have a perfect car if I could go in and Photoshop it. Come over here. I orientated this so it is uh, upright as well as the rear one. So that looks really nice. Um, let me figure out how to zoom out. Oops. I'll get it. You can watch from there. I think I gotta hold Option and then click. Um, and I'm logging in right now just to play a little bit with some of the filters. If I go up to New Adjustment Layer, check this out. We'll do Hue Saturation. And now we get to play. If I want to do this right, I'd put the car on its own layer. There we go. That's what she looks like in pink. Yellow. To do this right, of course, you'd actually have to select the car's bodywork, so then you could more accurately change the colors. See if I can find a molar red. Nah, it'll only let me get the orange with that color. I'd have to do some more fine tuning. Yeah, Photoshop is fun. I'm gonna answer that now. All right, guys, Ryan's been playing with selections a little bit here on Photoshop, and I've got a pretty decent selection going on, except the headlight is in the selection. If I take it out, then it's blue no matter what, so right now I have it in. If I zoom in really far, there's some problems down here where it blends in with the background too much, but for using the wand tool, I think we're looking pretty decent here. Um, I'm just playing around. Got the saturation all the way up now, so I can go to a really dark blue, then it turns purple, pink, and we kind of get into some gaudy red, orange, green, and yellow look horrible on this car. We'll answer to Colt. And we'll move that down here. But I figured out a color that looks really nice. If I actually turn the saturation down and the lightness to about there, how amazing does this car look in white? Kind of a silverish white. I think it looks really good. I also have the wheels on a separate layer. I darken them up a little bit and put them in black and white to get rid of the blue reflection. Yeah. I might actually buy a white E39. That would be incredible. If I turn it too much, then it just whites it out. But to get the definition back, that looks very, very, very good. I'm not a big fan of the titanium on these cars, but white looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm watching this video with Colt. Excuse me, I'm, I'm having some chocolate from Subcal04. Dad, do you remember this? I sent this video to you about uh, two years ago. December 4th, 2010. And we both watched it. This thing has 1,200 models on it. It looks like it's been through a war. Look at it. It is a wretched little piece of machinery. Well, I have successfully trashed my desk. Been on a phone call. It's 4.19 in the morning on the 11th. And uh, it's pretty much time for me to to wrap things up and probably go to bed, considering I should have done that about four hours ago. Colt and I were talking for a long time, did a little bit of research, got a little bit of work done. Um, I took down most of my outside Christmas decorations today. That didn't get filmed. They're in there. That's all full of lights. There's still some out there. So I'll finish that up tomorrow, get everything put away. Went to the dentist today. That was fun. Just cleaning, check up, everything turned out really well. They gave me some free stuff. I like that kind. So uh, I'm going to clean up my stuff here and go to bed. Tomorrow we're going to do kind of a mini yacht club sort of thing in the afternoon. So we have that to look forward to. And that's it. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on uh, Friday. Friggin' rights. Bye-bye.